Hello guys, it's Sucre speaking. So today I'm here to show the unbox and the how to connect the Buscan FP FPV transmitter with the HD wing camera. So this is the box when it came, where came the, the Buscan FPV system. So Arnold cable video cable, video and audio cable battery cable an adapter for the TV for the video monitor transmitter and the receiver We have two video outputs and one for the energy one the scene antenna and the configuration of the channel. Here we can set the channel also on these switch here. You see that we need to remove the plastic to change or put the receiver in the same channel of the transmitter. So, yeah, and two antennas. Just to reinforce, we can't con turn on the transmitter and the receiver without the antennas, okay? So, first of all, put the antenna to avoid any kind of problem. You don't want to lose the device in the first time you turn it on. So, that's it. Now, I will say everything that we need to do to connect the HD wing camera in the Buscan FPV system. Let's see. So I did two cables, uh, two connectors. This one I did to be an extension of a battery. As you know I like cars. So let's say that I'm using this battery in a car. Of course that I will not because it's too small. So if I want to use the same 2S or 3S battery to charge, to, to power my transmitter, I did this cable and with this cable I can connect the battery here, I can connect the car ask here and I can power the transmitter, okay? So with this I can power the ask and the transmitter with the same battery. After I took in the I taught in the in the receiver. So this receiver I'm using my TV now, but this receiver I use in an external monitor. So this monitor we use a 12 volts uh, battery. So I did the same thing. I did the cable. Where is it here? So this cable is not finished yet because I don't I don't I'm not with the the monitor but the idea is the same. These cables goes to the monitor DC in this for the receiver. One thing that I noticed is that this receiver is draining all my first bat 2S battery. I put a 1 million pair 2S battery in like in 20 minutes the battery was with 2 volts total so it draining my battery and you need to put a battery alarm in the battery that you are using with the screen and with the receiver so just to recap I did one connector for my receiver okay from XT60 to my receiver it's here I will turn on let's turn it on Okay, and I did one cable from a battery XT60 wow. here. Okay, to my transmitter. Here now the transmitter is on. Okay, the the I put everything in the channel eight. The channel eight to me was the easier one 
because the receiver came with in the H already, eight already, that's everything off, as you can see. And the transmitter is only the first, only the connector four, it's hard to see because of the plastic. Only the four is off to up. So you can use the same channel easier. Now the HDTV camera. So what I did, I took the original HDTV camera AV cable, I cut it off. Where's the? I cut it off. Here's the terminal, and I put this. Okay, this small connector. I don't remember the name of it now. So why I did this? Okay, because now I can look. Oops, sorry. Okay is hard to put it so in place now so with this I put one connector in the receiver you see and I put this in the original ATT wing camera cable in the EV connector one trick is the black wire of the wing camera cable will connect in the yellow wire of the receiver so the black wire of the HD wing camera is the video cable and this is the ground opposite of here so look I will connect now to use the notes that the TV is still off okay because transmitter we put some image only when it exists so to use this as FPV and to record at the same time you can you need to turn on the camera if you have some doubt with the camera you can see my video about the camera the link is now on the screen and I turn it on I change it for photo move with movement sensor in this mode I can connect my AV cable and look it's working sorry it's working as oops look. okay so as you can see everything is it's near because I'm doing the video so just to see let me put the camera here. There is the receiver connected in my battery. 2S battery can be a 3S, 4S. The video cable connected in the TV. Here is my transmitter connected in a 2S battery. In this side connected in my ATD Wing camera original cable that's connected in the HD wing camera so look to the TV again so you don't say that I'm lying ok, look it's working as FPV camera and it's recording, look, it's blinking you see, it's recording look there so that's it it's not too hard. I took some time because I did a lot of soldering. I, I did, I did this in the video cable. Of course, if you want this, I didn't. I did not in the audio cable uh, connector. But if you want the audio of wing in your airplane or the motor of your car, it's up to you. And after I did this, because if I want to use this connector with the cable, I can just turn off the transmitter. And I can use this as a normal cable, you see? So that's my solution. So one more thing that you need to check to, to see. This ground is the ground for all the cables, okay? I'm not using the, the audio. And the red is to power the camera when the camera doesn't have a battery. The HD Wing camera has a red battery, but if I was using the transmitter as to power the camera, I should use this red cable that's the uh, positive. 
so I just use the ground and the video because I'm not using the power of the transmitter to power my camera okay so that's the only difference for uh, a small camera that cameras that doesn't have a battery inside that's it so I hope you like it thumbs up in the video if you like it if you have any doubt you can ask in the YouTube you can ask in my blog RC in the vein RC in the you can ask in Facebook RC in the and uh, I, I took some pictures I put in my blog RC in the vein or RC in the the blog is in Portuguese but you can translate there's a, a button to translate to any language and I, I'm doing the, the text to, to when it's translated to be well translated so that's it guys, see you, bye! Resumão em português aí para ajudar vocês. Olha só, para fazer funcionar eu fiz essa extensão aqui, então eu vou ligar a bateria de um lado e aqui eu posso ligar o ESC e ao mesmo tempo alimentar o transmissor. Vocês podem ver, eu simplesmente fiz uma extensão e coloquei o um conector aqui para ligar o cabinho vermelho e preto do transmissor que é a energia eu não estou pegando o áudio e a HD Win Camera tem a bateria própria então tô, não estou usando o fio preto uh, vermelho para alimentar a câmera tá? esse fio aqui é o cabo de vídeo então eu tenho terra que é o preto e o positivo do vídeo que é o, o amarelo eu abri o cabo da HD Win Camera desculpa esse Abri o cabo da HD Win Camera, abri, quando desconectei, removi o cabo de vídeo e deixei ele para ser usado quando for necessário. Eu posso conectar ele de volta e usar o cabo normalmente. E aí eu pego esse cabinho aqui do transmissor, conecto aqui e aí eu uso o cabo da HD Win Camera com o transmissor. Ao mesmo tempo, eu fiz um outro cabo para alimentar o receptor com essa ponta e do outro lado eu vou adaptar no meu monitor externo que ainda não chegou dos correios então esse cabo vai alimentar o receptor e meu monitor externo com uma bateria 3S liguei a TV usando os cabos que vieram aqui no receptor a gente tem dois vídeo out você pode usar os dois ao mesmo tempo tem o DCIN que eu vou usar a bateria 3S e esse é o cabinho que alimenta o DCIN no receptor a HD Win Camera você, ela tem bateria própria e ela grava enquanto faz o FPV. Então você tem que ligar a câmera. Tem, eu estou botando o link do vídeo dela agora aqui se você tiver alguma dúvida. Coloca no modo 3 que é vídeo com sensor de movimento. Assim que começa a mexer a câmera ela começa a gravar, vai começar a piscar a lâmpada. E aí você depois que liga nesse modo você pode encaixar o cabo de vídeo e ela já está gravando como vocês estão vendo e ao mesmo tempo vai sair o vídeo aqui para o FPV como vocês viram no vídeo em inglês é... outra coisa, quando acabar o cartão de memória ela desliga automaticamente então vocês têm que colocar um cartão de memória grande o suficiente para ficar gravando durante o vídeo, o, o voo inteiro falou? é isso, espero que vocês gostem, dê uma ajuda aí no canal curtam o vídeo se vocês gostaram e tem, eu coloquei também explicações no blog, no rcnav.com.br E tem o nosso Facebook também, onde vocês podem fazer perguntas. É isso aí, pessoal. Um abraço. Tchau.